boom we are back with another video yes we got all the stock levels in this video we will go over amc y'all know amc had that big pop purely off a of sympathy movement of gamestop we'll go over that as well also the roaring kitty type of move how i'm looking to play gamestop if there is a potential play which i was looking for a play today i just didn't play anything i was mainly looking for like upside type of plays kind of waiting on that we'll talk about the cannabis sector they're starting to drop more we got tesla stock in the video as well we'll also go over ffiv i know y'all want levels on that one we'll go over that one uh, make sure you watch the video before this one on the SP500. Levels hit perfect to know if we're going to crash or continue to go up. They're very, very important of your trading. And then we'll go over all the other stocks as well. So just make sure you stay tuned. Smash that like button. Thank you guys for being here. Make sure you guys get this video over 200 likes as fast as possible. We'll also go over in the video. I told y'all about that resistance level on the video. If that broke, you're going to see the video back to all time highs. Okay, so be mindful of that. It seems like we're probably going to get that tomorrow. Okay, which is a top play depending on how it opens. So I'm giving you one of the, my plays right now. The video is one, depending on how to open. So make sure you join the private live stream that we have in the mornings because you'll know if we play it or not. So let's go ahead and get into it. We'll also go over um, how E-Trade is trying to ban uh, Roaring Kitty, which is crazy. It's like manipulation trying to cancel fake manipulation so they can continue to manipulate. Literally what I wrote on a tweet, but we'll go over that. But SoFi stock, still bearish. I think it's going to break that support level at $6.70. I think we're going to go down to about $6. So there's really nothing I could do right here on SoFi stock. I did think about getting put options on SoFi stock as like a swing. I'll see. That might be something to do that for tomorrow. If you're on the team, try to remind me on that. But that is something I'm looking to do. Palantir stock um, hit the support level today. Uh, perfect at $21. If you can see that, look at that. Support hit perfect, support hit perfect. You know I give y'all A1 levels like always, and that's pretty much it, right? There's really no play on Palantir. It kind of just been stalled off for like a whole month or so, and we'll just kind of wait. I want to see if it breaks that support level to go below 20. Does it hold it to go back up? I think there will be a play on Palantir. It's just not ready just yet, okay? I think it still has more room to go on the upside all the way up to like the 40s, I believe, which is all like over 100% type of gain on the higher side. So we'll see. When that play wants to come to fruition right now, I'm just kind of being patient with it. Let's go over AMC. So AMC rent up very high, as y'all know, after hours um, and pre-market, right? Pre-market ran up, kind of just drifted down today, drifted down. And then it literally did nothing all day after that first initial drop down within like the first 30 minutes of the market. It kind of just stalled out, right? I know a lot of people were probably expecting like a huge push continuation or maybe even a more drop. But it kind of just stalled out. So we're going to go over what I'm kind of looking out for AMC. Am I looking to play AMC? Not really. I'm probably trying to look to play GameStop more because AMC just kind of moving sympathy off the GameStop, off everybody, uh, off when Rory Kitty said he had all these plays. Then it start popping up, right? That's why E-Trade is trying to take him off the platform. But make sure you guys join the team. Did about three plays this week. Did Tesla, lost 10%. Um, did another Tesla, got my 10% back. And then I did Google put options for a 20% gain. So up 20% today. Even last week, did over 214% gains. Didn't lose any plays last week. And then if I go all the way up to the week before, we only lost one play that week, right? So we're winning every week by staying structured. Make sure you join the team. First set of description. It's only $69 a month, $59.9 one-time fee. Also comes with personal training if you want to do lifetime, so you just pay once forever. Then elite year is six ninety for the year. Prices are about to go up, and then personal training eight nine nine one time fee. Will now at seven seven gmail dot com. Remember personal training. I'm literally teaching you all the strategy of how to become consistent per week. So that fee right there is so low, it's ridiculous. But yeah, make sure you join first in the description. Follow me on Instagram at will knowledge as well. Now AMC levels, and then we're gonna go to GameStop. So AMC. Had old levels on here. Remember I told you I didn't really see too much levels. The only thing I really saw was that resistance level at 485. And if that broke, I told you all AMC could go to 550. That's the only play I saw, right? It did break it. And guess what price went to? 550. It did it in an unconventional way, but it still did it. Broke resistance, 550 is right here. That's where we opened and then we came down. If you don't believe me, go watch the videos I posted beforehand. I literally said that, okay? So now... Right now that it's kind of moving unconventional, we want to do this. So this is support, I would say about 435. Okay. And then resistance is not clear, but I'm going to just put one around the 550s. Okay. Just around that area, maybe like 555. So now how is this significant? So let's see, 555. And then support is at 435-ish, okay? So the only way you could really play, unless you want to play options, right? Unless you want to play options on it, which are very like high, high risk, high reward type of movement. But if we start breaking up, we also have a smaller resistance 
here. Now I'm watching these resistance levels because if we start to break these resistance to the upside, that might mean we have a little more continuation to the upside, which I could play to the upside to go to about six dollars, maybe even higher to about six fifty. If we could start pushing up, trying to reverse out of here, right? So that's the signs of the resistance level if we're going to try to reverse, right? But right now it's kind of not doing much um after hours i think game stops moving a little bit more yeah a little bit up like two three percent ish um after hours so we'll see but that's what i'm kind of looking out for amc let's go ahead and go over it on um before we go to GameStop, let's go over some cannabis stocks real quick. It'll be a little faster. Um, SNDL, very slow right now. Just watch that support at $2.03. There's really not much to do with SNDL right now. Tilray, again, still stalled at that $1.80 support level. Hasn't done much, as y'all can tell. Look, stalled. It has to do something. has to break it or something out of there. Cron, uh, support at $2.40. We're still looking for this to probably break that support. I don't, I don't really see any upside right now. There is no play on the cannabis area. I know a lot of people are telling me, oh, you should get in, you should get in. I waited, it pulled down now, and now we'll just wait for a support to build to see if there's a play. Remember, don't free trade. Make sure there's an actual play when you try to play something because it'll do you much better, okay? Let's also go to Tesla stock before we go over uh, GameStop. We got resistance at 181, support at 171, and we're still stuck in between these areas. Tesla also hit the resistance level today. Boom, beautiful resistance, right? So this gives you that guidance. Remember, none of this financial advice, all education purpose only. Don't trade things here in this video. But when I said Tesla has resistance here, we're not looking to buy Tesla here. We're looking for selling pressure here on Tesla because this is a resistance. Look how beautiful that resistance hit. And you got that selling pressure off of that. That is key. It did it again here. Selling pressure off of that, right? That doesn't want to break that uh, resistance level at 181. And then you have a support level at 171, okay? Remember, if you have any questions, make sure you email me. This is my email right here, willknowledge77gmail.com, if you have any questions, okay? Email's right there. But um, I'm still looking for a big leap calls. I'm still looking for more shares on Tesla. It's my number one holding, but I'm kind of just waiting. It needs to break out of here somewhat. And then June 13th, we're going to know if te uh, Tesla, we're going to know if Elon gets his package or not, which is might be what the market is waiting for on Tesla, which is next week on Thursday. So be mindful of that. That's going to be big for Tesla stock. But let's go ahead and go over to GameStop. So GameStop opened up pretty high. The only way you would have made money on GameStop is if you bought shares or calls on Friday, right? Or if you played some of the downside in the morning, right? But if you played any downside after like 30 minutes after the market opens, you would have lost because it just traded sideways the whole day. So just be careful of it. Try not to just get that biggest winner. I got to get it. Everybody's got to stay focused, right? A lot of people are asking about AMC GameStop in the morning, but I told everybody to be patient. Let's find what's consistent first, which is how we ended up 20% up today, right? That's how I'm up 20% today. Then I'll look for other stuff, bring in the consistent profit first. Then you look to play other stuff that's in the noise and all that stuff. If you want to, if not, you could be done for the day and not play GameStop ever. Okay. And you'll still be winning consistently. You'll still be doing good. Okay. But yeah, so GameStop, I'm going to put the levels I see on here, but depending on how we move pre-market, aftermarket, we're, re we're really not getting this movement seems very different than this movement. Okay. Last time we had that movement that it was actually pushing on, if I go all the way back, okay, the other movement just seemed more stronger. So it had that first initial push after hours like it did this morning. I mean, pre-market like it did this morning. It stalled out just like it did today. And then it really started pushing up after market and pre-market. Um, so after market and pre-market tomorrow, we're going to see if that movement is similar to how it did last time. Okay. We did do a play on that just in case we did a play. YOLO play, right? We're not really going heavy, anything like that. But we just want to see if it mimics the same time it did last time. And then it kind of just dropped after that. But all the movements were aftermarket and pre-market. The movement weren't really normal hours, right? So you really got to make your plays before the day closes. And then it just dropped ever since after that. And then it started that support level. So we'll see how GameStop wants to move. It just seems a little bit different than um than it is now we're really not seeing that pressure after hours so we'll see if it can try to push or pre-market then let's go ahead and just go over some levels just in case uh these are just some smaller levels that i kind of see around 34 dollars. that's a resistance level so you can have that and then support is not clear so we're going to take support away for now just a smaller resistance of about 34 so if it starts to run whenever it gets to like 34 dollars, i'll be expecting a little selling pressure maybe take profit or so up there but what i was looking out for is like a continuation play on uh gamestop so i wanted this to actually it's okay if it run down but if it started running back up i was going to play the continuation play to react on another movement trying to get about 10 percent then i was going to take my profit in that secondary run which is still possible if it does it tomorrow but that's just kind of what i'm looking out for gamestop they also have earnings next week as well okay 
So, boom. NVIDIA stock. Uh, NVIDIA stock broke the resistance level. I am looking for NVIDIA stock to break the all-time highs, which is about 11.58. Right now, we're about 11.53. That is a top play I'm looking out for for the higher side. Also, be mindful of the split around the 10th. Like I told y'all, we're going to get a pull down. Seems like that pull down did not last long. I think we'll have a bigger pull down than this. That's when I'm looking to load the boat up. But for now, I'll probably just scalp uh, for NVIDIA to break the all-time highs, which, which, as I said, is around 11.58. So we're looking for NVIDIA to break up there tomorrow. Hopefully it can give us a play in. That is one of my top plays I'm looking out for. And yeah, that's pretty much it. it already broke the resistance level so we could take resistance off. Now we're just looking for that all time high to kind of break. It also does have like a smaller support. I would say about $1,010 down here, just in case it pulls down. AMD uh, breaking that support level, but it's kind of not. It's kind of just stalled out there. There's nothing to do right now in AMD stock, if I'm being honest. The only thing I would probably like is maybe downside, but we'll see. Maybe if it, can, if it can break like 160 tomorrow, then maybe I'll trade it to like 158 or so to the lower side. But we'll see on AMD. Just not really too much clear levels. Also, Intel. Intel's going to produce a big play very soon. I'm just kind of waiting for it to come to fruition. It's back down to prices that it was in 23. Then if it breaks down to 25, it's going to be back in prices that it was in 2014, which is going to be a phenomenal entry for me so i'm kind of just waiting to see when i want to get in on a big play of intel um it's just nothing i see just yet okay also dell i know dell had a big push but this is only the first days of push we want more push okay we don't want it here i really want it below a hundred dollars that's when i'm looking for a big play this is why i say make sure you join the team first ad description it's only 69 dollars a month for the highest value possible consistent plays and you also get access to my private live stream so you can see me trade live and so forth you don't have to catch every trade i do but you want to learn why i'm entering in here why i'm exiting here what do i see for the day what direction do we see what's optimal what's not have that structure right and you could also do after pay for lifetime or elite year if you want to pay them uh monthly okay and also don't forget to follow me on instagram so remember on roar kitty he he showed his positions right he showed his positions of what he had that's what kind of pushed the game stop and then e-trade is trying to consider kicking roar kitty aka the value off the platform as a reportedly growing concern about potential stock market manipulation against his research purchase of GameStop. Now, what I wrote was manip manipulation trying to cancel manipulation to continue to manipulate is crazy. So, yeah, that's kind of what kind of pushed GameStop. I think I forgot to uh, talk about that. Oh, yeah. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, too. This is my Twitter. Will Knowledge. Will Knowledge 77. This is the Twitter. So make sure you all do that. But, um, yeah. So, Dale, we're looking for more push. I'm looking for it to get below $100. If it does that, I think that's where a big play can form. So I'm trying to be patient. I want it below here. I even have an alert down there just to keep it pretty simple. Um, so, Neo. Neo, there's no play on Neo right now. Lucid, no play right now. Even Rivian, there's really no play right now. This seems like it wants to go up. Maybe Rivian could reach up to about $12.50, but I'm looking for bigger plays of this. If I play any like EVs, I'll probably just stick with Tesla for now. Also, Apple stock broke resistance. I told y'all it would. Seems like it wants to go to higher prices. Also, Apple is something I'm looking to play for the upside. So it did break resistance. Okay, it has one more resistance at about 195.10. I feel like that's going to break. Apple is also a top play I'm looking out for uh, to the upside. Hint, hint for tomorrow. 195, uh, 195.10 is resistance. Then we have a support at about 190.75. So you could watch that. But I feel like we should see some upside on these tomorrow. Um, yeah, so that's Apple stock. Pretty heavily weighted. So you want to be watching out for that stock as well. Oh, uh, we, we already went over the cannabis sector. Let's go over. Um, I know y'all saw that crazy push in Burke. I was uh, I was going to try shares, but it was just crazy. I don't think he was able to buy shares at that low price that it had. It kind of just like dropped and went back up. So that's something. Let's go ahead and go over gold. It also happened in Barack Gold uh, today. I wonder if it shows it. Nah, it doesn't show it. Barack Gold dropped to like 25 cents, which is crazy. I think a long play on gold is coming to fruition. It's just not ready yet. It's moving very sideways. Hasn't really moved. Watch the support at 1660s, resistance at 1815. It's just not showing that yet, but I think a big play on gold is coming soon. I like how it's been at these prices for a while, and I'll probably try to do a big play to trade back up to like $35, which is over 100% gain. I'm not ready for it yet, but I feel like it could be decent, especially if the escalations. Make sure you watch the video before this on the sp500 all the news china news israel news especially if escalation gets back up gold is going to be like a safe haven and you can make some nice profits off of gold okay they also have yeah i think that's pretty much it on gold so let's go over oxy then i'll go over uh ffiv oxy i totally forgot 
to get puts today on OXY, okay? I totally forgot. Remember I told you I was waiting for the green day um, to load up on puts, and that was today, right? Should have got puts today, literally forgot. It broke support. I still feel like OXY could reach down to 58, so it still should give me another entry. I literally wrote it out too. Look, I wanted the upper movement, get puts, to load back down. It literally happened today. I totally forgot. So what I'm waiting for now is I'm waiting for another push back up, okay? So I need to push up like this here here like that that's what i'm waiting for next green day i'm load up on puts to try to go back down it still has room to go down so yes i'm missing out on some profits i think they did like 20 percent today but there's still room to get in okay we got a support here so hopefully we get support push get another green day and then i enter off that but yeah i totally forgot about it today but i think gold i mean gold i think oil still has more downside to go uh bitcoin bitcoin trying to make its way back up but again Bitcoin is not going to rock it until it breaks 72,100. It's just not going to, okay? It has to break that resistance level. It hasn't broke it ever, okay? It hasn't broken since it made its all-time highs at like 73,000, and now it's just kind of stalled out. So it needs to break that area to rock it. If it doesn't do that, we're kind of just waiting with our hands, right? So 66,600, that's the support. You see how Bitcoin has not wanted to break that? That is very crucial. Look at that. Support, support, support. And it just wants to push off of that, which is still good, right? We have multiple plays on Bitcoin, some that we bought at 28,000, 33,000, 40,000, and the new ones that we kind of got around these 60,000, the low 60s for that next push, as I think the next push could take us to like 90,000, which I plan on taking profit uh, off of Bitcoin, okay? Uh, I'll probably post a crypto video for y'all tomorrow. But yeah, that's what I'm looking out for Bitcoin. Let me know what other cryptos I want me to go over. And then let's go to the crypto stocks. So Coinbase has support at 22650. Literally hit support perfect today. If you go down, look at that. Support hit perfect here, here, and here. Didn't want to break that. Had a nice push. That is good. Other than that, there's not too much to go over Coinbase. I already have the shares to play it to the upside. MSTR, I'm looking to play this one. His support perfect, 1465. Kind of just waiting. Um, just waiting around because I know Bitcoin's not moving yet, so there's no rush to it. And Hood, uh, two days of red. We'll see how it recovers out of here. Nothing too crazy going on with Hood. I do believe it could reach up to $25. And it also came back down to the prices that I want to get in because I wanted to get in below $21. So we'll see if we can hit that tomorrow. I think that's a good area to kind of get in on Hood shares. Again, none of this financial advice, all education purpose only, just some guy on YouTube telling you guys what I'm doing. But um, I like that Hood thing. For the miners, very simple. Riot, I'm not looking to play it till it breaks $14. Easy. Hut. I'm not looking to play it till it breaks $12. Very simple. Mara, I'm not looking to play this at all, but it gets more interesting around $24. Okay. Now, FFIV has resistance at about $0.65. Cents. This one had push as well. I know y'all are watching. I'm, I'm not really looking to play it, but I know some of y'all are. So here are my levels. So resistance here. Notice how it tried to push above it. Came right below the resistance. Hit it here, hit it here, and hit it there. So resistance was pretty much bringing, bringing down ffiv and that is still resistance okay it's still resistance still it's just nothing too much going on right here in ffiv of this range that it's in right it really has to break out of here to really let you know if it wants to go up or down right now it's really not doing much smci is still dropping like i told y'all i really want it down here it tried to hit that support today and it actually held it a little bit like you see how it tried to hit it here it came back up to it and then it pushed above it. So support is still holding up price above it. So support is still the same. 756. Looking for it to still drop below here. I think that's when it'll be a little more, a little better type of um, entry. I'm still looking for big swings on Snapchat, Baba, and Boeing. None of them are ready. The only one that might be close is maybe Boeing. Nice green days, but we have to break at least like 185 um, in this range. 185 50 186 in that range for that play to kind of come to fruition i'm kind of just waiting on it for now reddit nothing going on support 5330 we'll see how that moves nothing to talk about on reddit djt dropped told y'all it had to break 55 cents for me to be interested and never did that so i never bought it good thing we didn't because it literally dropped all the way down to 46 dollars now almost hitting that support so see how that acts the closer we get to elections i feel like this one might be a little better to play than it is now okay so we are kind of watching out that other than that i think that is pretty much good in phase i am still looking to play in phase have a nice upward movement i want to see what happens out of this downward movement see if we pull down to like 124 this is an interest rate type of stock as well so once we start moving once interest rates start really coming down in phase is really going to start moving it's been in the same price range since like august of 2023 so if it's still in the same price range of like 130 by august of 2024 it literally did a year of no movement that's why i'm not really just trying to 
go crazy on it right now because it hasn't moved in a year. Well, by August. So you just want to be patient of that. There's more opportunities that we could put it in than trying to put it in in phase, right? So that's why I'm just being a little careful watching other stocks. And then as this one forms, then I'll look to play it more. Um, AAL is still crashing. I think a big play on coming is AAL, but it has to find support. UAL trying to recover up to the upside. Only the AAL is the only one not. So I'm kind of looking at the airlines to see what they want to do. Also, cruise lines, CCL had a nice big push today. Nothing crazy going on with CCL. I probably won't look to play it till it breaks like 1850. I did play the shares before, but I haven't played it in like three months. So I'm kind of just waiting for plays to form, stay strategic, stay focused, and drain out the noise. Other than that, the video's on my 21, so I'll probably keep it here. There's so much stuff we got to talk about, though, literally. Even like at and I'm looking to buy this one. I tried to buy it today. The money ain't transferred yet, so... Tomorrow, I'll probably get shares, which is good because it's coming down. So that's a good thing. But yeah, AT&T shares, I'm looking for a swing. Nike shares, I'm about to start my swing, starting both of those. Most likely tomorrow. That's why I say join the team. Um, first thing in that description, I could really make 40-minute videos, but I try not to. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you join the team. First thing in that description, make sure you follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge. Make sure it's the right one. This is my only one. And always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye.